Frag grenades. Those are no oh, we can take that sledgehammer and repair ours up some more, which will be useful. Hunting rifle. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do that because sledgehammers are kind of heavy, so they take up some extra room. So the way to deal with that is just to repair it, and now it does 15 damage. Um, my shotgun's actually taken quite a beating here, so we'll just switch off to the hunting rifle again. Um. Oh, there's a red line. You can't sleep if there are enemies around. Which I guess is a good thing. Let's, uh, let's try the sneaking out. Uh, sneak out and get a critical here. Nope, didn't work real well. Shot too, too long. Um. Shoot his head full. Yeah. Crippling their head makes their aim much worse, because, uh... Um, well, in the same relation, if my head is crippled, uh, your view kind of just, you know, it kind of bobs and gets fuzzy, so it's definitely a, a problem. Here's some more hollow tapes. Um, empty whiskey bottle. Dad's been drinking on the job. I'm telling mom. Oh, mom's dead. Eh. Okay, guess that wasn't the greatest of comments some ammo. Oh, right away. Right away's nice. And I keep trying to back away, but I find more stuff. Um, there must be um, at least another enemy around here because I could not sleep. As I really would like to sleep because my health is kind of low. Ah, uh, peace out me. Come on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I run out of things to talk about. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, but I'm trying to keep this interesting as I run around. Um, so, Evergreen Mills, as we've heard, you know, if you've been listening to people as I walked by them, Evergreen Mills is overrun by uh, raiders. So, uh,. We'll probably be dealing with some of them. Um, I might actually go to Evergreen Mills, or I might just bypass it. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. See, how to keep you interested. You don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so, let's see. Where, let's see what the, the quest pointer is pointed us at. Gain access to Vault 112. See, look at that. We got a, a good walk in front of us. Um, while I'm over here though, um, we are going to go check out the Mirelurk layer and complete the uh, second chapter for Moira, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Don't don't hate me if I pronounce her name wrong. Uh, and I'll hop around just because it's more interesting. Uh, the I'm actually going to set that as the quest, so I can just kind of go there. Um, the bonus for the Mirelark layer is to not kill any Mirelarks. Which seems simple, you just run by them, but... Uh, oop, a little bit of lag. Cut that out. Um, it, seems, it seems easy enough, you just kind of hop by them, but there actually are a good bit of Mirelarks in the, its layer. And let's see, do I have Oh, I I have it. So we won't be walking there at all. See? Saving time, being optimal. Um Anchorage War Memorial. Let's let's There was a if I'm not mistaken, there's a service entrance on this side rather than the main door. So uh maybe it will take us to a um, more preferable location. Uh, most of these quests, I have a general idea of what I need to do and how to go about doing it, but the details, a lot of times, they elude me. So there may be better ways to go about it, but most of the time, I will just be brute forcing it in danger. 
Please, I hope I don't run into anything bad. Oh, see, there's a Mar alert. Um, hide an observation. Okay, observer has been added, and I haven't hurt anybody. Let's get the heck out of here. Actually, let's search him. Hey, bottle caps. Okay, well that was okay. Another anticlimactic quest from Moira, because that was a lot easier. And I remember it. Um. If you go in the other door, you have to go much deeper into the um, hey there. the lair, and there are quite a few mire lurks, but I'm glad I chose to do the service entrance because that simplifies the quest greatly. And, okay, so it's closed, uh, so we have to wait. And while we wait, I can regale you with great things. Um, so we are heading out west, um, and, well, I'll let you hear what she has to say. So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? Okay, uh, right here. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there guns blazing without half a thought but not you you're the best research assistant ever that's right i've been getting a good signal but what do you think about them from your first hand observations of them okay um they're sending from local crabs okay Cella serata horrendous that's very scientific of you personally i wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp perhaps some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Okay, we got three stealth boys and the shady hat. Uh, second chapter is done. Correct as always. And your feedback's really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, <laughs> then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. Alright, we got 15 32 caliber rounds. That's actually very helpful. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole, and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Um, let's try using old technology. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked but a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Yippee! Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be connect the widget and I can do that, okay. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Okay. Um, I'm going to check real quick see if she has some ammo. Sure thing. Yep, she has some new ammo, which is always nice. Buy some more. 32 caliber. See if she has any weapons or anything. Yep. Oh, she has another combat armor. We will buy that. And nothing else good, so except exit. Good hunting. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Wonderful. Don't, Don't try anything. She's got a security guard in here that doesn't like anybody. He, he's a grumpy guy. So, yeah. He's just here in case you steal stuff, so. Okay. Alrighty. So, off to, I'm not going to do that one, uh, the Robco, I believe. I don't believe it's in the direction we're going. 
yeah, we'll do it afterwards because the other one's up here, and so we'll just have to go south afterwards. Um, yeah, can't access. All right, I'm clicking around. Uh, yeah, so we just need to go straight west. Um, <coughs> we are heading into a um, more a dangerous part of the wasteland. The enemies will become more aggressive. Um, and there's there's a, a fair bit to deal with.